Hello everyone, this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today, let's talk about what's going to happen in January. And remember before we get started to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know that you are enjoying my content. I'm a little... A little dressed down today. It's a day off. Mm, just hanging out with some yummy, yummy books. Okay, so let's talk about January. All right. Rule number one: MJ reading this life is a mood reader. She does not do TBRs. She will drop a book and pick up a new book like the wind. This book, because of the get off your phone challenge that I spearheaded, um, getting off my phone should allow me to get a good 20 books in. Yeah, 20 books. My highest number for one month read way before booktube was 18. So I'm going for 20. And we're just gonna do it. We're gonna do it, we're gonna knock it out of the park and it's gonna be feel awesome come February. So I don't have a TBR. I don't know what I'm gonna be reading. I know two books that I'm definitely gonna be reading. So I'm gonna go through those with you now. And this one I'm starting on January 1st because it is, it's a chunk. It's over 400 pages. For me, it's a chunk. Chris and Hannah, um, The Four Winds. This was the book of the year from Book of the Month Club. Uh, haven't read it. I am doing a buddy read with Michael Romeo Talks Books on that. And we are starting this January of 2023. And... Mm, this is way outside my comfort zone. So let's see how I get on with it. Way outside my comfort zone. People love it though. I'm going to give it a shot. My parents were from the Great Depression. That's when they grew up. I'm going to give it a shot. This is about the Depression era. From the best-selling author of The Nightingale and The Great Alone comes a powerful American epic about love and heroism and hope set during the Great Depression. A time when the country was in crisis, when millions were out of work, and even the land seemed to have turned against them. It says, my land tells its story if you listen. The story of our family. Okay. I'm not one for family stories. I am not one for historical fiction. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm giving it an open mind. All right. So that is book number one. Book number two is the third in the Douglas Adams series. And this is um, The Life, the Universe, and Everything Else. This is with Criminales, Book Year, Birth Club, blah, la la. <laughs> I always screw it up. Um, so we'll be starting that. That is, let's see. We read The Restaurant at the End of the Universe this month. Okay, so The Life, the Universe, and Everything starts there. And ends here. So that's the life, the, the universe, and everything. I think it's one of the thinner books in the um, Hitchhiker series. Here it is. The life, the universe, and everything. So we'll be doing that for Criminali's birth. You know what it is. <laughs> okay. So those are two definites that I have. I feel like I'm missing one. Like I'm supposed to do a buddy read or a group read or something, but I just can't. I can't picture it, can't place it. Do you ever get that feeling? Like you're like, oh, I'm not supposed to do something. Jason Harrigan's doesn't start until February. So the name of the rose is going to February. Okay. So those are two books. We only have 18 more to go. And like I said, I don't have anything picked, but I do have my mood trolley over here and I pulled out some books. This is um, No One Left to Come Looking for You. This is a book that I got in the Strand box. Um, this is going to be one of the, um, these two are going to go through the read what you own challenge. I'm still participating in that and I'm on book number 14 now. Go MJ. Um, not really the number where I wanted to be, but I had a heck of a lot of library holds come through. So I, I had to read them. I just had to read them. And I did, um, two buddy reads this month too. So for December. So I just wanted to get to them. This does not count as a book that I own towards the challenge. This just counts as a, wait, does it count towards a book that I own? No, it just counts as a book that I read because this came in a subscription box. Technically, yeah. I don't think I'm counting. No, I'm not counting that. 
So that's one. Um, Sign Here by Claudia Lux. Sounds really good. Interested in reading this. Paul Tremblay, Head Full of Ghosts. I'm going to be uh, reading this one. This is a story about possession. Should be really, really good. I've been hearing great things about it. Criminali recently read it, put it as one of his top books of the year. Um, and Santa gifted me this. So looking forward to reading it. Karen Russell, this is another Christmas gift. Um, this is Sleep Donation. Sounds really, really good. This is one I had on my shelves. This is Bun Head. Oh, these stickers. <gasps> I gotta get these stickers off. Um, this is Bun Heads. This is about ballerinas. Why not? Something different. I also started, whoo, are you ready for this? Oh my gosh. The Passenger by Cormac McCarthy and Stella Maris. I have both of those on audiobook that I started today. I'm about 45 minutes in. It's a 12 hour audiobook for The Passenger. Cormac McCarthy, man, he's out there a little bit, huh? Whew. So that is going on. Um, so that's just a few <laughs> books that I'm going to be reading this month. Everything else really is just up to chance. It's up to whatever I feel like reading as a mood reader. Oh, I know. I know. Some people hate not having discipline. I don't mind it at all. Because I'm telling you, if something doesn't jive with me, I'm going to drop it and I'm going to pick it back up. Now, I just want to look over here at my mood trolley and see. There's a few. There's a few that I didn't get to in November and December that I may pick up. Tomorrow, 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 I really want to read. Should I do that this month? I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to stay away from the chunks. I'm trying to stay thinner um, just so I could get through a bunch of books. I mean, there are a couple chunkies here, but I think they're going to go by really fast. So I've never done anything with reading and like estimating how many pages I have to read in a certain book to get through the month. I may sit down and do something like that. If you have any tips, comment down below and let me know. So yeah, so I think that's where we're at. So there's going to be one group read at my channel. And that's for um, The Four Winds. I'm doing Criminali's group read. And I think that's it. I think that's it for like group read, buddy read commitments. I may do one of the Odd Thomas books this month too. It's a series that I started long before BookTube. I DNF'd book number five just because I was tired of the character and I just wanted to put it down. It wasn't gripping me anymore. I was just like, I need to step away. I don't know if series books are meant to be read one after the other or if you should take a break. Um, so I may pick that up and read it because I never finished the series. It would probably be a good idea to finish the series. Um, Ollie's reading them in order. So I told him, I said, listen, let me know when you get on number five. Maybe I'll buddy read it. But, you know, a buddy read with him isn't like a real buddy read. You know that, right? Okay. Um, but that's really it. That's it. I, I still have a ton of books at home that I'm trying to get through for the Read What You Own Challenge. So if I could get at least... Oh, and I'm also reading Machines Like Me by Ian McEwen. Um, that's really good. I'm not going to I'm not gonna be able to finish those before the end of the year, though. So they're just going to carry over into January. So um, Machines Like Me. I have a Richard Lehman... Beast House number three. I got like maybe 15% in. Um, what else? There's, there's just a bunch. So, okay. So, yeah. So, um, we've got Bunheads by Sophie Flack. Just to review. Bunheads by Sophie Flack. Those stickers. Oh, they go right through me. We've got Karen Russell's Sleep Donation. Sounds really good. It's about like a bunch of insomniacs and they like have to find new ways of getting sleep and there's like dream bad guys and good guys i don't know sounds really good head full of ghosts possession ghosty mm, who doesn't love that should be good i never read paul tremblay either so i think i'm starting off on a good foot mm, sign here by claudia lux 
and this is a darkly humorous, surprisingly poignant, and utterly gripping debut novel about a guy who works in hell, literally, and is on the cusp of a big promotion if only he can get one more member of the wealthy Harrison family to sell their soul. Should be good. No One Left to Come Looking for You by Sam Lipstyle. Manhattan's East Village, 1993, dive bars, DIY music venues, shady weirdos and hard drugs are plentiful. Crime is high, but rent is low. Luring hopeful creative kids from sleepy suburbs around the country to New York City. Sounds good. Douglas Adams, the third in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and that is um, The Life, the Universe, and Everything Else. Kristen Hanna, The Four Winds, a um, historical fiction about the Great Depression and a family in the Great Depression. And The Passenger, oh boy, The Passenger by Cormac McCarthy and Stella Morris by Cormac McCarthy. I have both of those on audiobooks. So that, in a snapshot, is my jump start into January. I'm going to try to only read two books at a time. Now, when I say I read two books, I'm doing one audio book and one physical book. I'm not going to be doing two, three, four books at a time. I'm gonna try and keep the blinders on and get these books read. And if I can get audio for any of the physical books, like if I'm in the car or something like that, I'm gonna do that too, because I need to utilize my time wisely. And the get off your phone challenge is going to help me reach my goal because I have since deleted Instagram. And I feel like a brand new person. I'm just going to say, all right, everyone. So that is where I am for January. It's not really a TBR. This is all fluid. I've got a ton more books I could go through, but it's just what I think I'm going to pick up during the month. So right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I just need 11 more. We'll do it. We'll get there. I'm confident. I'm solid. I'm trying to think. Oh, and then I have book of the month. That'll be coming this month. Oh, I also have... This is Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. I like Stephen Graham Jones. I did one of his mm, novellas in December. Night of the Mannequin. It was good. It was really good. Uh, so this will be my second Stephen Graham Jones. I think I'm going to throw this in the mix as well. So that's where we are. It looks overwhelming right now, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It really, really is. Okay. So that's it here from me. I'm going to keep reading what I'm reading. Oh yeah. And I also have um, the Beast House book number three by Richard Lehman. And I also have Machines Like Me, Machines Like Us, Machines Like Me by Ian McEwen. And that is really good that I'm reading right now. Okay. So those are the December, no, those are the January books. <laughs> we're going to get through this. I know it. I know it. I know it. Come February 1st, we're just going to party. If I read 20 books, we're going to party because that would be awesome. All right, everyone, that's it here for me. I hope you are all doing well. I hope you have a safe and happy New Year's. I hope that you set some goals and challenges for yourself. Don't set resolutions, they never stick. Um, and remember to get off your phone. Put your phone down, set time limits, set app limits, set whatever you wanna set. And um, let's see if we can make some progress with our reading in January, okay? All right, everyone, that's it here for me. I'm gonna skedaddle. And I hope you are all doing well. Make sure you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. And I will see you in my next video, whether it be sooner or later. So until next time, goodbye for now.